it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for October 27th, 2020. So today I got to mess with putting the card up here because <laughs> it doesn't want to stay up, but it says emotions are running high. It is the super moon. And this, I believe, came up in the weekly. Let me see if I can get this done quickly. If not, I will just edit this part out. It worked when I was testing it. Now look at it. Ooh, precarious, but it's there. All right. <laughs> so emotions are running high. Think about what is really bothering you right now. What is something that you have been stuck on that is really draining your energy? That's what this card is all about. I'm also going to pull us a cabochon for the day. Oh, we got two of them. Never mind. <laughs> so, oops, sorry. There you go. There's the two. That's what they look like. And these are Archangel Ariel card. Don't try me. Okay. And this one is <laughs> Archangel Shamuel. All right. This is funny because, uh, both Ariel and Shamuel are about manifesting. And yesterday we had abundance and we had, you know, it's time for a fresh start kind of thing. So the emotions running high, it's, you know, what you want to manifest. Uh, Archangel Shamuel is the Archangel of love. It helps you reach your fullest potential through self-love, okay, through believing in yourself. And remember, we were talking yesterday about how to shift that, or not how to, but that we need to shift that perspective by feeling it within us, not logistically, but feeling it, yes? So emotions are running high because you said yes to something. <laughs> or if you did, if you're one of the people that said no, to an opportunity, whatever that was. Now be careful with this, guys. We're not saying if some clown comes up and tries to get you involved in some scammy business thing that you should say yes. Don't say yes. Say no and run away, okay? And warn everybody else about that person. This is more about, like let's say you want to dream home. Somebody out there is focused on home. So let's say you want to dream home and you're always like, oh, but it's impossible. I'm in this neighborhood, you know, this is all I can afford. Uh, it's really far from work. My work is in a completely different neighborhood. Boy, wouldn't it be nice to live uh, closer to work, but I can't. There's no way I can afford it. This is saying, no, 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 no. When you get grounded, and Archangel Era is all about being grounded, about nature, about being cleansed and recharged through nature, manifestation. I associate Archangel Ariel with the root chakra, okay? So, you know, that sense of safety in this world and when you reach your fullest potential and you work with Archangel Shamuel, you realize that you could have some of the biggest surprises coming your way, <laughs> right? where there's like suddenly an opportunity. And um, we want to be careful. I'm getting the message here too, to pass along to everybody. Don't just be focused on manifesting money so that you could get what you want, but rather focus on the feeling of being, let's say it's a home, the feeling of being in that home. And if you start going into that feeling, and you start getting, you know, kind of pulling back a little bit, kind of going doubting, you know, uh, look at what is behind that. So the emotions are running high. This could be people coming out with their truth. And maybe that's in conflict with your truth, <laughs> right? Um, this could also be, and I think this is mostly what's happening here. Something shocking and beautiful just came to you. And now you're nervous about it. Okay. I definitely feel like people are falling in love. That's not going to be for everybody. All right. But I definitely feel like someone comes out and says, I love you. I've always loved you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And there's, I, cause Archangel Shamuel is the Archangel of love and Archangel Ariel is all about feeling uh, comfortable in your own skin and feeling safe in this world. And when we're truly with a soul partner, somebody who really understands us and you have this beautiful connection, you're really plugged in with one another, not in a codependent kind of way right? But when you're really plugged in with one another, there's no better sense of like sort of soul fulfillment, if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Like that's, you know, we're always seeking out that connection. So this could get you kind of buzzy right? and, you know, looking forward to the future. But again, be careful not to trip over your own feet. All right. So we're going to leave it there, guys. Have a beautiful day. Take care. Bye-bye.